obesity which is a national epidemic and a major cause of the death if we talk about this disease and its impact worldwide then i must say that more than 1 billion people are obese in this universe out of that 650 millions are adults 340 millions are adolescents and 39 million children are obese obesity is nothing than the outcome of unhealthy lifestyle hence it is very important that we have to monitor it and ensure that we live a quality of life so now let's understand what is obesity is obesity is a condition we can see it by open eye observation obesity is a condition where the abnormal and excess amount of fat get deposited or accumulated inside the body cell due to the excess amount of fat the organs potential get harm and hence it is one of the risk factor for the health how this obesity take place inside the body obesity take place two ways inside the body number 1 either the size of the cell increases or the numbers of the cells increases now on screen you can see there are two pictures one is a fat another is a muscle if you look at the fat that is in a yellow color it looks out of the shape or shapeless whereas muscle looks very much toned and in shape so if you see the anatomical structure just beside that muscles you can find that every muscle has its own shape and its location its beginning and ending point whereas fat doesn't have that and therefore through these two pictures you can easily recognize who is the obese person and who is not an obese person now on the screen you can easily recognize which are the fat deposited sites in the body most of the time we can see a bulky face or the double chin area which is very heavy because of the fat the arms if you talk more fat can be seen at the tricep part and the under peat and then moving towards the lateral part of the chest or the breast and another picture you can see there is a love handles or a buckle and the belly front portion which is hanging at the tuck in button and again the inner thighs which is most favorite area of fat to deposit you can find females are more fabby at the thighs and then buttock and it is very rigid fat very very rigid fat to take away now we are going to discuss what are the causes of obesity consumption of excess amount of calories when we eat more than optimal calories definitely it get accumulated in cell or the muscle cell or body cells as a triglyceride so it becomes the body fat second is sedentary lifestyle sitting long or doing no activity definitely body is not able to burn the calories which we consume so when unburned calorie remain in the body it store as a body fat so it this calorie may come from the carbohydrate protein or fat doesn't matter whatever excess which is not burned or utilized it will store in the body as a fat next one is a lack of exercise when you are taking certain amount of calories inside the body and when your exertion rate is not up to the mark to burn this number of calories definitely the excess amount of calorie will remain inside the body and as we discuss the excess amount is always stored as a fat inside the body so it is also become a cause of obesity next is diabetes mellitus in this condition the insulin resistance condition appears where the functioning functioning potentiality of the insulin is impacted and hence the blood sugar is not regulated the way it should be which further impact on developing the cholesterol in the blood stream and it's further risk factor for many different diseases like a heart attack brain stroke paralysis and so on next is lack of sleep lack of sleep is very very important factor as we eat do exercise meditate like that lack of sleep is also one of the major factor 
for developing obesity if you don't sleep night time uh, if you don't give proper rest to your body definitely your body biological function get disturbed and the melatonin which is responsible hormone to have anabolic effect in your resting duration will not activate in time and the duration which is required to heal or recover your body will also not take place uh, at the optimal level so it is very important that we should ensure that we have adequate amount of sleep every day moving towards the complications of obesity now you can see on screen there are several complications appears because of obesity these complications are deficiency in functioning so the organ or limbs functioning potential get impacted diabetes mellitus as insulin functioning potential get in resistance or capping definitely the blood sugar is impacted or elevated further it leads to the diabetic condition excess fatigue is because of the lack of sleep as i said due to lack of sleep we can't recover our body or biological clock is getting disturbed hence the body is not recovered fullest to tackle the next day load so yes the fatigue condition which was there earlier will remain uh, more or less percent in the next day also so excess fatigue will also remain in the body brain stroke cardiac attack paralysis this kind of conditions appears just because of uh, the cholesterol level elevated in the blood stream and further through the circulation it may block the pathway of heart brain and certain veins so yes the paralysis cardiac arrest or the brain stroke this kind of diseases also can be invited through the obese condition next is shortness of breath or hypertension condition appears because of obesity because the obesity appears when we don't utilize the excess or whatever amount of calories present in the body so it remain uh, stored as a fat so when we don't uh, burn this calories means we are not reaching to enough exercise level means we are not reaching to optimal level of aerobic exercises or activity definitely body will not burn or oxidize the fat inside the body further body is not uh, having enough amount of oxygen intake and circulation process so it impacts on the uh, lungs cavity also to take in the breath and exert the, the same amount of breath from the body so yes shortage of breath is one of the outcome of obesity and also because the heart functioning is not trained up to that target heart rate level so definitely the hypertension also increases because of the obesity now moving towards the diagnosis of obesity here are some uh, screen test or the diagnose test field test lab test are given the name of this test are bmi that is a body mass index whr that is a waist to hip ratio skin fold caliber is an instrument bia which is electronic machine is there in the gym to find out the body fat percentage in the body lipid profile is a, a blood test which is uh, conducted through the lab dexa scan again the scanning just like a mri we do it is kind of scanning from top to bottom you can find out different composition of body hydrostatic weighing machine is also lab test ecg and liver functioning test these are the lab test thyroid test diabetes test are also based on the blood uh, sample test the videos related to all these tests are already posted on my channel so that you can refer it and uh, here definitely i'm not going to discuss because it will take a lot of time and it it will become a very lengthy video now moving towards the next that how much percentage is good percentage of fat inside the body that we are going to see here the uh, percentage of body fat is given before that i would like to say that uh, we might be aware of the visceral body fat which is around the organs and which is very much essential uh, to be there in a optimal amount so we can't ignore that uh, fat definitely fat is very much essential that is why it is one of the component of body composition 
but how much percent we can consider so you can see uh, on screen that there is a age range is given and further the classification according to the gender is also given so if you want to see the excellent percentage of body fat in uh, male of age ranging from 20 to 29 is 8 to 10.5 percent so the children age who's having or adult age who's having 20 to 29 uh, should have 8 to 10.5 percent of body fat in the same age category the female must have 14 to 16.5 percent just because of the anatomical structure differs and the gender purposes is differ at the certain point of life yes because of that this percentage varies furthermore good fair these are the uh, considerable categories we can say so we can fluctuate in our life under you know these three categories but going towards the worst is again the challenging part so definitely there is a up and downs in our life certain conditions or certain situation sometime not in favor or sometime it is in favor so fluctuation definitely happens change is a nature of life so we can't say that we are able to stick every time with a certain percentage but that fluctuation range you must uh, decide that up to what level if worst to worst condition how uh, at what level i can go and from there how i can revert back to my original form or the optimal form okay so now moving towards the next is management of obesity so we'll see some strategy how to manage obesity number one is keep active your body never use excess amount of duration to sit sleep or uh, at one place okay just keep your legs moving so activate your body rotate your joint give twisting movement to your spine this kind of activity you can keep on doing on an interval of certain period of time eat optimal calories you should be very much conscious to eat this is very important should not eat a bar bulk of food at a time uh, make your complete meal in a portions and eat that portion on a certain interval moderate exercises are very much impactful or effective for uh, fat oxidation actually so you have to ensure that whatever exercise you do at least do it for more than 40 minutes 60 minutes or 90 minutes 90 minutes is the best place where you can oxidize your fat more and even though you can increase oxygen intake capacity glucose storage capacity so there are so many benefits of doing moderate level of exercises so do moderate level of exercises have at least seven to eight or eight to nine hours of sleep as an adequate sleep then we can have a very good uh, control on our eating food intake like we should not have a frequent fast food so we have to avoid it we have to control our thoughts so no negative thoughts we know that we we will definitely have some negative thoughts but then you have to you know decrease the frequency and numbers very important then stress management have some uh, meditation strategies have some routine have some good uh, friend circle have some uh, good habits so it will definitely help you to reduce your stress so these are the some uh, lifestyle approaches which will help you to reduce your daily stress level and adopt a preventive physical activity program so you can uh, you know enroll yourself for recreational activity any club any physical activity program trekking hiking so this this kind of you know happy club uh, uh, approach will definitely make change in your life and you will be uh, definitely optimal in your all the potential with this thank you very much friends for watching my video and hearing it patiently i'll come soon with the different approaches and strategy to maintain your weight or prevent the obesity so friends stay tuned stay healthy take care bye bye